<laughs> Sorry. Camera coming through. Okay, <laughs> camera comrades, get a close. I'll get a close. The close we can get. Move forward, doll. Get up there. <laughs> Watch out for the Congo Russians. Give it a family update. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just want to uh, give a very big welcome to Newcastle's Lord Mayor for the next four years. Yeah! 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 There were some people who, you know, had some doubts, but uh, hopefully they'll be well and truly satisfied by now. Um, I'm going to hand it straight over. This is New Atali's night, and uh, and for her, her family, and her team. Thank you, Cheryl. Awesome work, girl. Thank you. Yeah. Well done. Well, the results look very good. I think I just saw a tweet from Anthony Green that may have called it. So. Um, <laughs> We're not waiting for Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> We're calling it now. There are so, so many people to thank. Um, to start, starting with every single person in this room, like their long days on polling booths, and I know some of you have come straight from scrutineering or handing out all day, or you've been handing out on pre poll for two weeks straight. <laughs> um, but to get to this point, and I don't think they're actually here yet because my mum was scrutineering. But <laughs> as, as she normally does, and I will probably repeat it when she's when they're here. But you don't get um, politicised or active in your community without parents like mine. And a lot of people in this room um, know my mum and dad, Paul and Suska. Um, they were always fighting the good fight even before I was born, and that I've inherited some of that. And mind you, we have our own little family tussles about what's right and what's wrong. But um, that got me interested in government, and particularly local government, um, many, many moons ago now. Flash forward um, all these years, and unsurprising to everyone in this room, this is our third Lord Mayor election in less than five years. Yeah. So, mm. yeah, we're very seasoned yeah. campaigners. And while I might be the front person, nothing happens in the city alone. Nothing happens in the Labor Party alone, and nothing happens in government alone. There are some amazing people in this team, and it's it's really um, important to recognise the work, particularly in this campaign, of the campaign manager Stephen Moore. Yeah! Get up there! Look at your chair. behind the scenes person, yeah. very shy, but it's not an easy job. Great mascot, but local Dog. government, <laughs> unlike state or federal, you have hundreds of candidates running yep. around. So it is, it's, you don't just have one candidate, you have tickets full of candidates. So it's actually quite complex to manage. And Stephen's done an amazing job with the great support of our current um, or outgoing councillors. So I think it's really important to acknowledge Stephanie Kosniak, we have been part of our Labor team, um, which is obviously Jason Dunn, who's a sitting Ward 4 councillor, and Declan Clawson, and retired Tim <laughs> 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 So thank you to that amazing team that has got us to this position. Uh, it is also... Um, Look, the hours we put in to the last almost three years, particularly while we've had the Lord Mayoralty and the numbers on council, it has been a phenomenal effort, a phenomenal team effort from everybody standing here. But it also takes its toll. So I have to acknowledge my poor children. <laughs> 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 long suffering husband. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine how many times they've been left at singing lessons. <laughs> <laughs> it only happened this week in the room. <laughs> 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 On Thursday when I said, I'm sorry, I don't 
don't have time to get you to school because I've got a media call in studio at ABC Radios. Guess what? You're coming with me. Yeah. <laughs> so we got there eventually, about 10.30. <laughs> so, um, you know, I think it's a life Good experience. Good excuse. Yeah, that's right, life experience. <laughs> what we've managed to do in the last two and a half years is we've turned council's finances around. That is no easy feat. We've had to make extremely tough decisions that Quite frankly, we've cocked it in the neck from every angle for the last two and a half years, so those tough decisions. But guess what? I'm standing at Maryland this morning um, on a polling booth with the amazing David Bliss. Thank you for your support. <laughs> and an old couple who lived in that street, uh, John Bell Drive, um, for many, many years, came up to me and they said, we've never seen roadworks in our street before. Never until this Labor Council got elected sorted out our finances and started dealing with our infrastructure backlog. Now we can't fix it all in two and a half years, it's going to take a number of years to fix, but we're on the right path and the community has seen the path we're on and those tough decisions are paying dividends because you can see the results today. And again, not alone in making those tough decisions, the people standing on this stage are standing right beside me making those tough decisions. And I have to tell you, the campaign that our opponents ran was dangerous to this city. And people mm. saw through that, that danger, those false claims, council would have been insolvent within a couple of years. And guess what? That couple that had never seen roadworks in their, their street would never ever see roadworks, let alone a council that could deliver anything in this city. You would have seen service cuts and job losses. And people chose in 2014 <coughs> to vote and support Labor, support us, and support the protection of services in this city. And that's what we have delivered. At the same time as doubling our infrastructure spend through in the city, as well as maintaining an operational surplus. It is a phenomenal example of progressive economic policy in action right here in Newcastle. And I am so proud of this team standing beside me that we have delivered this. And I'm so thankful for the support, because it's been a tough two and a half years. My God, that organisation came at me with every conservative that's ever been employed, literally with bows and arrows and knives, and I had to rip every, as if I wasn't ripping them out of my own back, the people standing behind me were ripping them out for me. And we took them down one by one. And look who's standing up here. Yeah! yeah. fantastic results that are going to come through our wards. Oh, so we've got um, Jace here, big round of applause. Hello, Jace. Hello. Hello. Well done, Jason. Hard working man, delivering for Ward 4. Made sure he put his ward on the map. Infrastructure, services, roads, everything for Ward 4. A hard fought <coughs> campaign to save Ferris Field Pool um, and, and reduce the entry fees. We are delivering to the western suburbs of Newcastle. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, Jason. Declan Clawson. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Okay, if you want to get something done in this city, <laughs> <laughs> Declan, I really want to do this. Can you make it happen? Yep, no worries. <laughs> Look, he's a phenomenal, phenomenal councillor, a phenomenal campaigner, and a phenomenal member of the Labor Party, and a phenomenal human. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, Declan. A fantastic campaigner in the community for every cause. We've listened to her, we've loved her in Newcastle, and now Newcastle has loved her back and she will be your Ward 2 Councillor. Yeah! Yeah! Yep. Have a woman! for 
for those in the federal public service that have been hammered by this conservative federal government. Shame. 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 She's put her hand up in Ward 1, which is a tough war. Every single community group known to man or activist group seems to be based in Ward 1. <laughs> Lucky Emma. <laughs> There's some, you're standing on some great shoulders. You've Stephanie Posniak and Sharon Clayton before you. So that's that's great. Um, Emma has... Uh, I got to uh, pre-poll on Hunter Street yesterday um, in the afternoon around about 4 o'clock. And Emma was standing there. She'd been there day in, day out since probably half past 7 that morning. And I, and I said, are you OK? She's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that was yesterday. <laughs> and now... You can't tell, but I've noticed she has no voice. <laughs> no, I noticed. Speech. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Speech. Give us a cheer. <laughs> so Emma's going to be an amazing Ward 1 councillor, um, a, a great community advocate. Uh, we rallied the community around in Mayfield West um, when a local um, told us about um, the problem with the play equipment there. You know, within a couple of days, Emma and I had about 60 community members having a meeting. Um, with, I don't, because we are financially sustainable and have made tough decisions, I had in my budget $150,000 to fix their play equipment. Woo! It was Labor Delivers. Yes. There are a number of people on these tickets. Uh, so you have a top candidate in your ward, which you've all met. But sitting behind them are tireless workers, knowing full well that it's very hard to be elected um, when you're second and third on the ticket. But sitting behind Emma in Ward 1 is Aaron Moon. shoulder to shoulder through this whole hell campaign. When I went to polling booths today, guess who was there? The SDA and the MUA and the USU. So thank you so much. <laughs> this fantastic campaign in War 2 is actually your Young Citizen of the Year. Yeah. Yeah. Carol being new to campaigning, Phil was there rock solid, um, day in, day out, weekend after weekend. We stood on street corners together out the front of the junction. Now that's not easy, we kind of pop in the neck those conservative areas. So, <laughs> and Phil politely took it. So thank you, Phil. <laughs> Smashed Ward 3 and we'll get Peter up. <laughs> Peter, not only has she supported this campaign in a fantastic way, she's been a fundraising officer on our local government committee for many, many years. Now, everyone knows when we get to the local, S local government committee or the um, SEC or the FEC, the last job anyone <laughs> is a fundraising officer. <laughs> Peter has taken that role on for many, many years. So. We have funds, albeit small funds, to run these grassroots campaigns through Newcastle and make a difference. This is a phenomenal result for a great team and a great team effort. And I, my heart goes out to every single person here to say thank you so much for the work that you put in to help us get re-elected so we can help Newcastle. It's, um, it's very humbling to stand here and see um, the results coming in because I know how hard as a collective we all work and I know how hard you guys all work to support us. Um, when I look around, um, we have the Honourable Richard Pace here, who whenever there's a campaign on, is always on the phone letting me know what's going on, giving me great advice. I mean, we have the amazing Sharon Clayton who welcomed us and introduced us as our fantastic federal member. There she is over there. <laughs> We have the, the wonderful, beautiful, <laughs> former Lady Mayor Wendy Peaks, who has been a rock. 